Um, so we host digitally, but we're also, when we get to 150 subscribers, like paid or not paid, uh, free, it, it can just be free. Then we're going to like unlock that like web store uh, feature for physical comics. So mm -hmm. like we're going to have like the cover of each comic and then people can get like a printed copy and it'd be like a one-off print. Or if, if it's a store, they can order more. I actually am connected to a, one person that's opening a store that's around my area. Mm -hmm. And anybody that's on there, I'm going to print comics and like somehow we'll figure it out. Like if they want to pay for it or whatever, we have to still figure that out. We're going to print the comics and we're going to ship. I'll actually like drive to the comp, the store and mm -hmm. she can actually like display them in her store and sell them and stuff. So yeah. Uh, Catalyst comics actually doesn't put a price on their comics um, for a store. Like the store can price them. And I might do that depending on like if the creator is okay with that. Um, if they don't want to, if they don't want to put a price on their comic, then that's cool. And then they can just price it however, and then they get paid through PayPal or Venmo or whatever, um, yeah. depending on how much they make each month or whatever. Yeah, we have a so, lot in the works. It's just like building up towards that. That sounds like a plan so far. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yeah. So what other comics do you have any other plans for any other comic besides the one that you have? Well, well yeah, as I mentioned, I already work in uh, basically three other books uh, more actively on two. The third will come. And it's about the New Zealand imprint of the publisher. The one I'm working now with him because he's the writer of the stories. I'm just the illustrator. So uh, his uh, art name is Malfunction. He lives in Wankare, New Zealand. And uh, the story, the, the, the strip we are working together uh, is called PJ uh, at CB, the modern bears. It, it has comedy and political like content, but um, it's going to be up on a weekly basis for free on the publisher's website. And later on, we are going to put all these strips together in, and you know, print it as a magazine. And the other two stories, hmm, I don't know how much I can reveal, but um, well, I said that they are supernatural horror, both of them. I can maybe mention their titles. All right. The yeah, one? yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can, yeah. It's, it's your time. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Whatever. So the other book is called Tor, T-O-R-N, Tor, and, uh, the, uh, and the book after it that is connected to it is called Templeton. And basically, you can see there, let's see what kind of elements you can see, um, maybe you can see uh, the spiritual anatomy of a person. You can see that the, you can learn about his soul, about what he has been through, what kind of hell he's experiencing now. You can see maybe demonic creatures or soul collectors, who knows, uh, this type of things. But uh, he's such a cool uh, guy, very creative. He's like, you you know, many things in his mind, trying to work with people and bring everything forth. And um, he never stops as well working. Uh, and um, yeah, it's... Um, Man, I, I, the whole experience offers me so much, uh, you know, that I learn from, and I, and as long as I see him satisfied from the work, this, uh, and I get feedback from strangers all the time on the internet, you know, positive feedback on the work. This shows me that I improve, and I like it. I like yeah. it. It's important. This interaction, yeah. Uh, this, so these titles will be released. Uh, I mean, the strip will start be released, maybe uh within this the next month i think uh and um we will have 10 strips i think on uh, one every week and then already i'm drawing the next ones pretty much i think they're gonna be 60 strips you know like three panels next to each other um and uh, the other book torn is gonna be 40 pages and templeton i'm not sure but i think it's gonna be long as well and uh, the thing is, I don't have much space where I am, but, you know, my desk is stuffed full of paper, drawings, scripts. It's just, <laughs> it's a nice thing to see. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, that's my favorite corner from, from most of the time is this desk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm either sitting on the couch watching something and eating dinner, or I'm here, like, just in front of my computer. Like, <laughs> I'm mostly at my computer. It's, like, barely sleep, because everybody is like, do you sleep? I work overnight shifts, and it's like, I'm either talking to somebody while I'm working, working, I don't do anything at work. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I'm sleeping like a couple hours maybe. And then the rest of the time I, I, once I wake up, like I just start working on our website or whatever else, like promoting our podcast or something else, uh, whatever I need to do that day. Um, yeah. So basically live in this chair. <laughs> Ah, uh, you don't have like uh, I don't know a girlfriend or something to tell to take you off there sometimes. Uh, well, she's usually at work when I'm um, oh. doing this, and she's like reading manga or uh, watching anime or something while I'm doing this anyway. Ah, so she's a geek herself too. That's yes, yeah. The cop. <laughs> ah, man. I don't know, what's your opinion like on hardcore titles like, um, you know, they have full gore and they don't censor any words, they have full nudity and almost pornographic material. How do you feel about that? Um, well, there's one that's on our platform that's kind of like that. He, he actually asked before I uh, uploaded it. Um, he's like, oh, do you care that there's like it's like above 18 or whatever, like rated that. And I was like, I don't care what it is. Like just maybe put a warning somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. um, we were going to make like a year or something ago, we were going to make like another website, but that's mm -hmm. Dylan having to build a whole other website. And it was going to be like kid friendly. But mm -hmm. I was like, eh, I don't have enough people that make stuff like that. So it's like, um, my stories i don't really have that but like uh, i know people do that there's like one person that i follow on instagram black fly press and he and he he does he draws that he draws stuff like that and um it goes over well because like sex sells i guess <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah but I, I just don't really care that much about it uh, but like personally i wouldn't like read that but other people will so I know other people will. Maybe that would be behind like a certain paywall. Like if it's like, it would be like the back of the room, like the back of the store, like Blockbuster. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. But I guess the question here that I try to make is, what if the store is actually good? Is it worth it then? Yeah. I, I like I unless if it's, I don't know. I'm probably gonna offend some <laughs> Okay, I'll bring example, right? You have for um, publishers like Verotica, Avatar Press, Boundless Comics, you have guys like Team Vigil, right? You know these uh, examples, I guess, right? And their material is like that, uh, 18 plus. So, but there are many books like in Avatar Press that, that they're, they actually have a good story. It's not just, uh, uh, you know, go hardcore for the sake of it. You actually, you know, have something to show there. And I'm wondering, um, okay, maybe it's shocking to some. I mean, not all genres are for everyone, I guess, but uh, what if the story is actually good? Then do you see it in another way, the material? Do you do you, do you appreciate it more or? Um, I just like good story, really. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't care if like the, meh, it, like it depends. <laughs> I guess. Like, uh, Cause I don't have anything that's on our platform. That's really like that besides like one comic so far is one like, exception. <laughs> yeah. And he, he asked beforehand, he's like, Oh, can I like put this on there? Can I be your exception? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and, um, he's like a new artist and stuff and he's just, he's just wants to like host it somewhere. So I was like, yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> and like gory, we have a serial killer comic that I like. I wrote, it, and he's based in our universe of stuff. And he, like, when his comic like comes, it gets pretty violent. He's a serial killer, but like, it's really weird because like me writing that is just like. My mom thought the Seer Chronicles was bad when she wrote like not like 
uh, story-wise. She uh. thought it was like, um, there's a lot of swearing in this. I'm like, oh, okay, it's not like Spider-Man or anything. Um, <laughs> she, she's like, um, this is, you have to swear in the comic? I'm like, to like, for certain times, yes. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> um, well, for the serial killer comic, she probably wouldn't even read that just because, like, it's more towards the horror side of things, and she just like horror. So that's like whatever. And but like that would be okay to some other people. Like some other people would like to see horror, really violent stuff. I don't think it's really anything that's like Saw, like those movies, like Saw. <laughs> but it, it gets to a point of like when I was writing, it, I was like, I'm pretty fucked up. Just. <laughs> I was just like, oh, wow. Like, someone's going to read this, and they're going to be like, I think he needs to go to a mental ward. Because um, <laughs> I, I came up with an idea while driving home from work one day. Uh, I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. One thing is we don't have uh, religion in our comics. Mm -hmm. So uh, with our video game and stuff, churches become, like, parking garages or whatever else. Mm -hmm. That's just like <laughs> we don't have religion because, like, which it's actually pretty hard to do. Like, some people wouldn't think that. But, like, when you're actually writing the story, you're like, oh, shit, you can't use this word because it's related to, like, religion. Like, god damn it, you can't say that. You can't mm -hmm. say that, like, while writing because you're like, oh, well, we can't say that because that person doesn't, like, exist in our, like, universe of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that made it hard. But, like, also uh, holidays, like Christmas is coming up. We don't we don't like have Christmas in our universe. It would be like another holiday that we have to actually come up with. So we're like building holidays and stuff. Um, yeah. But I had, the idea that I had for that is like there's body parts that would be on a tree, like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, it's pretty messed up. So mm -hmm. I, like that's what like you know after you watch a certain amount of serial killer documentaries, you're like. I can I can get pretty fucked up. So oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, oh, that would be a really cool but messed up idea if this guy's partner had like his body parts all over a Christmas tree and then like the first thing he sees is like the body parts all over the tree. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Like that I hope nobody takes that idea yet. <laughs> it's gonna take a while for me to like get that comic out. But um it's it's live streaming right now, so like I can prove it, it's my idea. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I don't really care if it's super violent myself, but like I know a couple other people would, and like they're probably like a Karen or something. That's like that's ah, too violent. Just don't read it. You don't have to read it. Mm -hmm. Would you ever host uh, in your company a book that is um, I don't know. For the most part, or based on uh, religion, you know, like uh, elements like uh, tribulation, uh, crosses. Uh, I think we like have that. one that's like that. Um, yeah. Oh we, did, oh, we did. We originally did, but like they didn't answer us back, so I just like took it off because they weren't like that involved. Like to be part of the platform, you actually kind of have to be kind of a community, like talk to yeah. us at times. Um, you don't always have to like be involved in every conversation, but like I, I try to like because we actually try to do like group projects, group projects. It's not school. It's like um collaborative projects. So it's like like Chronicles of Horror. Like we're trying to do like another anthology, like sci-fi or something else. Like it, stuff like that and um, audio dramas, other stuff like that. So I would like people to be part of the conversation at least sometimes. Um, I get people are busy doing their own thing, but like you grow, you can grow together. That's like why we have that platform. So, and uh, uh, mentioning that here, I wanted to say something through your, uh, through you know, th this interview that I I'm thinking for uh, some time now. Uh, I wanna start doing some uh, pieces uh, or for original art that it, that uh, you know are consisted from. Uh, indie characters of creators like you out there and of course it would be full credit that all it's like an advertisement advertisement but you know after a point i get tired drawing dc marvel image i want something i've never drawn before <laughs> so uh, i have to uh, but you know it's not like just see some for uh, you know i i like to do full study of the person of his background the history that else this is lots of work for me and i have created a whole archive of folders there <laughs> and you are in there 
So it's like, this will happen at some point. I just have to find this time to, to do it. Cool. But it will happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I I see like people's um, character drawings and stuff. Like they get to post their characters and I can't yet because our comics aren't out yet. Like the remastered version and stuff. Um, the only one we really have out is ink. And I don't have like a, I only have like one picture kind of, of like ink, like, you know, looking badass so so far so um yeah uh i just hit my face with the mic so <laughs> <laughs> um that would be pretty cool to have like uh you know drawings of other characters i don't know who else would be like down for that on there but i would totally be down with that um there's uh, some things to do. I mean, it's always yeah. a known character. Some kind of we, we have a few things that we're like planning for the platform that not only will help like us, um, you know, to monetize it because that's one yeah. of the things that we're really focusing on next year. Um, it's just, I, it's going to help everybody that's on there, and I, I know it will. Besides our video game, because our video game is going to like show little Easter eggs of everybody else's stuff in the video game you don't have to be part of our universe but you're just like your comic book cover would be like a poster that somebody can have in their like apartment in the game mm -hmm. so i think that'd be pretty cool yeah um, like it's the easter egg references of yeah, some sort. yeah i love easter eggs so um <laughs> is it only me or is it truly a difficult question when they ask in interviews what's your favorite comic ever like it's just <laughs> one title i don't think it is easy <laughs> I, um I like really only indie comics. Um, I like Marvel and DC like movies and stuff um, mm -hmm. for the most part. I eh, eh, some people are gonna hate, probably hate me. I did not like that new um, the Birds of Prey movie. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I like Margot Robbie. Yes, and, yeah. and Harley Quinn. I didn't like mm -hmm. that movie. Um, yeah, I think when you be, I think when you write more and you become like a better writer, not mm -hmm. to be cocky. I, you like find things that are not good <laughs> and and that's like when you're watching or like reading something you're like this isn't as good as like it could be so exactly yeah no. well um that's like a kind of a weird spot to end at but we have to end it yeah it's all right i mean uh we'll have you, I, on, we'll have you on again at some point um that would be great yeah um this was really fun and uh yeah. And supporting the comics, supporting the comics. Yeah, um, <laughs> exactly. this will be actually this will be a podcast episode that will come out next year. So, uh, ah. yeah, so you'll technically be on our podcast. Everybody that's part of this event will be. So, thank you. Yeah. All right, keep it up then. Keep it up. Okay. Um, everybody else is like, I'm ready, and I'm like, Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, everybody can join us on the next uh, stream, which uh, will go live in a few minutes. And thank you for coming on. Thank you as well for inviting me. Bye. Bye.